So for me, when they tell me, they, when they ask me to define what is hypertension, I would say that hypertension is like if they say I should literally talk about what hypertension because there are different types of hypertension. You know, there's one for blood pressure, there's a pulmonary hypertension, and then there is this portal hypertension. So if they say I should casually talk about hypertension, I'll simply say hypertension is when things are on the high side. Okay. So portal hypertension now is more of like the portal vein, all right? So it's more of like there's a blockage to the portal vein, all right? So blood is not flowing out. So as blood is not flowing out, there's like a backlog of blood in the liver, all right? To me, that's what I just feel portal hypertension is. So we'll talk about it, talk about the types. We we'll talk about the causes. What could cause portal hypertension? The symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, and possible complications of portal hypertension. Okay. So for the definition, we have it that portal hypertension is a condition which is characterized by what increase blood flow. Oh, it's not that there is a blockage. All right. I actually got it wrong in the explanation. There is not a blockage. There's just increased blood flow, all right? So there's increased blood flow in the portal vein. Now, I have the chance to actually cancel this video and start again, but I won't cancel it. I'll leave that mistake there because it will serve as fun. And I did it well intentionally so that when you guys remember, you never ever forget, okay? So there's increased blood pressure in the portal vein, which carries blood from the intestines to the liver, okay? So now there's increased blood flow in this vein. This vein here, the portal vein. All right. So moving now, what are the types of this portal hypertension? There is prehepatic, prehepatic that's before the liver. There is intrahepatic, showing that there is obstruction of this portal vein within the liver. Okay. Then there is what post-hepatic. That means there is obstruction after the liver. Okay. What are the causes? It could be because there is what liver cirrhosis, it could be portal vein thrombosis. That means there is what a clot blockage. All right, it could be because of hepatic vein thrombosis, it could be because of liver cancer, it could be because of non cirrhotic portal fibrosis, it could be because of what schistosomiasis infections, it could be because of what congenital portal vein anomalies. Right, increased blood flow to the liver, right, through the portal vein. Now, what are the symptoms? Yes, there will be varicial bleeding. The patients will have ascites because the liver is now big, right? Uh, and they'll be having some mental problems, which is because they have a liver problem. So if a liver problem is causing some mental issues, that's what is known as what? Um, hepatic encephalopathy, okay? Then, okay. They'll be having what? A last spleen to splenomegaly. There'll be abdominal pain. There'll be fatigue. There'll be weight loss, right? And there'll be hepatomegaly too, all right? Diagnosis, you could use what? Imaging studies like Doppler, ultrasound, CT scan, MRI, angiography, okay? Then endoscopy can come in. Liver function tests can come in. And some blood tests can also come in, all right? So you can see how a liver looks like when there is basically what portal hypertension increased blood flow to the liver all right so treatment to use what medications like beta blockers nitrates diuretics so that it's basically what help the patient urinate more and take the fluid out nitrate okay we're talking about that endoscopic varicial ligation all right you're trying to block possible uh, bleeding okay the transjugular intrahepatic photosystemic shunt. We are trying to shunt the blood supply. There's some different other surgical shunts too, like photocarbal shunts, mesocarbal shunts, and the rest. The liver transplantation can be like the golden stuff there. Complications is related to varicial bleeding, hepatic encephalopathy, ascites, then spontaneous for bacteria. Peritonitis. Okay, they could also lead to what hepatorenal syndrome. Hepatorenal syndrome, that's where you're having some kidney issues, and the thing causing this is because you have a problem with the 
liver okay so guys that's it for portal hypertension see you guys